Okay, guys, so just a quick video here because I just want to clear up any confusion. Uh, what is the symbol for mean, as in mean like uh, the word average? Now, the problem is that in the past two videos, I've kind of used two different uh, symbols interchangeably, which is a bit naughty. Um, but when I explain it, you'll start to understand why. So the two symbols that I've used for mean are X with a hat on it, which is called X bar. And the other symbol I've used is line, then a U, like that. This guy is called mu. Okay, so mu and X bar. They both mean mean. Uh, now the difference between them, it's, uh, it's a little bit weird. Let's say you had a class of like 28 students. If you added up all of their heights and divided it by the number of students in the class, what you would have done is taken a census. You would have done the entire population and found the mean of the population. Now if you do that, it's mu. Mean of population. Now if instead you took a random sample from your class, you just chose 10 students and you measured their heights and you divided that by 10, you would get the mean of the sample. So that means that, and often, for the sake of argument, the mean of the sample is good enough. So we know that the average height of human males is about 175. We didn't measure every single human male. So technically we shouldn't be using mu for that. We should be using x bar. Okay, now uh, for our purposes, it doesn't matter too much. So don't freak out too much. Just understand that mean can be symbolized by two different things, x bar or mu, so they might get used interchangeably. Now the other thing that you might see is um, standard deviation. There's a similar thing for this. Either we use a lowercase s, and that's for the standard deviation of the mean, so, no, sorry, the standard deviation of a sample, and we could also use this guy, the O with the, with the line, that's called sigma, and that's for the standard deviation of a population. We will generally use uh, sigma and I think we'll probably use mu. It depends upon the question, but as long as you understand that these and these both mean mean and standard deviation, we're all good.